Congratulations. It Thank was you. a real fight between you there. There wasn't much between you early on. No, it was a battle. Um, he started off quite well. He, he got that... Well, it was 2-2 two, two and he got the, the first set, but I missed that double 11. It hurt me a bit that, because I'd all my been it and my finishes quite well. But to be fair, to be fair Keegan deserved that first leg. I just went to the back, had a, had a wee, and then just dusted myself off and get back into it. You're averaging over 100 for a while. It ended like above 97. It's a good standard. You just couldn't quite put him away, could you? It's, it's a bit, probably a bit of nerves. I'm trying hard. He's trying hard. Once I got in the lead, though, I thought, I've got a great chance here. I'm going to miss them doubles to go 2-0. Then it was 1-1, then 2-1, then it was 2-1 to him. I thought, you've got to do something here. I, 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 I pulled some good darts out, but it's a strange game sometimes. How are you feeling about your own prospects at this year's William L. World Championship? Because it looks a very open tournament. Yeah, I feel, I feel really good this year. Um, this is probably the most I've practised coming into this tournament because we've been playing a lot on the tour anyway but because of the Covid we've not done that much so but I've been practicing a lot and um, I changed my stems, uh, not my stems, um, my, my points on my darts because last couple of games I've been playing on TV they've been, I've had a lot of bounce outs and falls out so I changed them I was a bit worried coming in today because I was practicing and it didn't feel right but I brought the old set as well but I thought if you're going to get used to them why not play on the biggest stage ever and get you some there? And I did, and I felt comfortable in patches. I know it wasn't the brilliant game of that I've ever played, but more to come. Well, it wasn't bad, and you might well need more because it's Danny Nobbin next, and I'm not sure you've beaten him yet. I don't think he had to prepare, I just said that in the interview. He's lucky by, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> no, to be fair, every time I played Danny, I can remember, I can, I can remember the game I played. I played him in the um, World, World, World Series. Mm -hmm. And they beat me, uh, was it 11-10? And I missed two darts at 36 to win that game. So that's, that starts, isn't it? Hopefully, I'll, when I play them again, I won't be missing 36. Enjoy Christmas, well. Thank you, and you. Dave, congratulations. What's it like having to wait right until the last moment to, to play at the William Hill World Darts Championship? Oh, it was brilliant. <laughs> I loved it. I was still in tournament. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's, you, you've got, you get more time to practice as well at home, for me. And watching the darts and practicing, that's, that's what I like. If there's no darts on, on the night to play on like, the 23rd of December, I probably won't practice as much, because I like watching it and practicing at the same time. Do you get a little bit nervous though, watching the seeds fall? And... Nah, they do me them lot, they fall, they fall. I just, I'm just concentrating and practicing on my own game, and when I play, I, I, I don't look at the seeds or anything. I just look, like, to see, like to watch. I'm, off his player myself at home, good darts. Looking at the season, heading into the World Championships, how would you assess your year? To be fair, it's not been brilliant, but it's lack, 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 lack of practice for me. But I, I, like I said, for this tournament, I put a, a, a lot of hours in it. And uh, I've not had the best year. I don't think anybody has really. It's been up and down for everybody because of Covid and that. But just got to get on with it. Heading into the tournament, any expectations you put on yourself where you, obviously you're all here to win it, but any minimum requirements from yourself? Yeah, as long as I get... The main goal today is to get through tonight. That was the main goal, and I've done that. I can relax more now. I'm going to play my game, because I've been beating the last couple of tournaments this round on TV. I know... we get through the first one, I can go deep. And I'm, um, I'm quite... I'm, I know... I, I, well, I'm quite good at going... Quite far. Having the Christmas break, obviously going home, coming back, and then you're here. Do you then start it as a brand new tournament in your head? No, 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 no. It's still the same for me. It's still the same time, and I'll just go home. I'll probably have a Christmas dinner, but I'll just practice me. I let the I let the little girl and Michaela go around to um, my mum and dad, and I'll have a, I'll have my dinner. Then have a practice on, on my board. Simple. Dave, congratulations, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers. Dave, you say it hasn't been a brilliant season, but a good run here. Do you think that could that could undo? Well, redo all the all the work you've you've put in. Yeah, it could do, but I don't I don't look like that. Me, it's, it's, every tournament is different. You, you play. To be fair, I've lost the first round a few times, but the boys have played well against me. So hmm. I played Merv King in the play champs. He had another five, I had another two.
What can I do? Yeah. And he went on to the final. We played very well all week. So yeah. it's one of them. You just got to keep keep focused and maybe I can go deep in this. I I, I think I can because I've, I've had put good work in. You say nerves might have been a factor, especially in that in that first set. You still get nervous up on that stage. You've no, been there plenty of times. To be fair, I weren't, I weren't nervous the first set. Okay, it's when I went 2-1 up, I, oh. I was feeling it a little bit. I wasn't nervous for the set. I, I played OK, I didn't play brilliant, but I had the chance to win the set with the double eleven. but I wasn't nervous, but, but I didn't. when I got 2-1 up, it started to whip me down a little bit. I thought, come on. And then, obviously, I was missing the doubles. I could have gone 2-0 up and thrown for, the, thrown for the match. But I went 2-1 down, but I pulled it off. All right, brilliant. Cheers for your time, Dave. Cheers.